Sharing a folder in Microsoft Windows is very simple. All you need to do is right click on the folder you want to share to bring up the contextual menu. We'll share my documents and choose share with. From there you can choose who you want to share it with. Generally you'll want to choose specific people. This will bring up a sharing window where you can choose some new options. Here you can choose any of the existing users or select everyone from the drop down menu. I just chose that there and I'm going to click the share button. This will enable the folder to be shared across the network. It'll take a few minutes to get started, but once it's done, your folder will be accessible from other computers on your local network. Sharing a file or folder in Mac OS X is not quite as easy as it is in Windows, which is not usually what you would expect from Mac OS X, but it's still not that hard to do. To do it, you need to open System Preferences which you can find in a lot of places, but you can always find in the Apple menu. Here's the Apple menu. Go down to System Preferences and click on that option. You'll see a few options come up in your System Preferences panel. What we want is Sharing. From Sharing, you'll see a lot of options. Click File Sharing and make sure it is enabled by having a checkbox next to it. You'll see that there's a list of shared folders and people who are allowed to do certain things with those folders, such as read and write or read only. If we want to share a new folder, there's a little plus sign below the shared folders area. I'm going to click on that now. This brings up a panel and you can see the folders that are currently on my desktop. I can browse anywhere else or I can choose one of the folders here. I'm going to choose the to be archived folder and click add. Now that folder is set to be shared, and you can see that the users that are allowed to use it are listed in the Users panel. If I wanted to let everyone read and write to this folder, or have no access at all, or just write only so they can drop files in but not see what's inside, I can change those options here. And as soon as I change them, they'll be active immediately. And that's all you have to do to share a folder in Mac OS X.